Hi, it's Thursday. I'm in our very empty old flat uh, because I wanted to check if we still had any post. And I had a really weird post, really weird post from my bank, which is a finance planner for women. Um, so I guess I fit their target group. Um, and I leafed through it a little bit. Um, there's loads of blah blah about saving money. I really hate money as well, like, phew. but there are some like interesting things in there as well, considering like challenges you can like set yourself and what kind of amount of money you should have saved sort of for emergencies. So somewhat intriguing, I think, maybe, I will leave through this and get a little bit of inspiration for my new bullet journal for the next year that I picked up yesterday. Um, yeah, uh, other than that, the post I was hoping for regarding, uh, you know, cancelling our lease here and moving out wasn't in the letterbox. My dog is pretty confused about this empty, empty flat. Are you confused, bud? Really, huh? Usually there's a bed here. <laughs> um, haven't read anything yet today. I'm going to head back, head back home, finish painting the boards that we are going to use to make our bookshelf uh, so that they can dry and hopefully be ready to mount them on the weekend and i hope you are doing well i just wanted to like give you a little insight and myself a little insight in this feeling of leaving this flat which is a really nice flat but also was never never felt like well, certainly never felt like a home that we would stay in for very long because it was a temporary lease. Um, and just a bit, bit small, bit crammed, two people, two dogs. Um, but yeah, uh, it's all empty. We're moving out. There's quite a few holes in the wall still. Ooh, uh, you see, yeah, you loads, of, loads of holes. You can see all that that we have to remove uh, in the next two weeks. Um, yeah, goodbye, goodbye fat. morning it's Friday 9 a.m. and because I've been in a bit of a funk because I've been sleeping so badly this week I decided I'd do my best to start the day right I did a short little workout showered washed my hair always makes me feel better I'm gonna have some breakfast now sitting on the balcony it's cold but I think I can do like 20 minutes um, I'm currently let me check on page 270 in Anxious People. I'm not flying through this as I had hoped I would. Frederick Backman's Anxious People is my pick for a book by a favourite author, so I had really high hopes and I like the themes he's talking about here, but I feel like there's been a bit of a sort of plot twist now at page 270, there's like 400 pages, which I was expecting all the way, and I'm also expecting that plot twist not to be the actual conclusion so if that's true then I will just find it all a bit predictable but I've 130 pages or so left in this and I really want to finish it if not today then tomorrow because I feel like it's not improved by working through this sort of slowly so I'm gonna read a bit of this um, eat my muesli that's getting soggy drink my tea and start my day
Saturday 11am, we've just come back from doing some grocery shopping and we mounted some shelves. There, you can see that. Um, so now the question is, do I sort alphabetically or by colour? It's always the big question. I'm tending to colour at the moment. Um, these floor, the floorboards, these shelves I will always be able to get to easily, the top ones I won't. So I have to keep that in mind somehow. So I'm going to rummage through all the boxes and find my books now, which is so nice. What a big step towards a bit more of a, a homey nice flat. Yay! <laughs> Yesterday night, I finished Anxious People by Frederick Backman, which I'm pleased about, but also irritated how long it took me to read. It's 400 pages, and usually I fly through his books. And this one didn't quite hit the mark for me. I'm undecided whether I didn't love this because I had so high expectations, so I was a bit disappointed, or whether it just wasn't my book on the whole. Um, the pacing was a bit off, the resolution or the twist at the end Although I didn't completely predict it, I still wasn't surprised. Um, and that wouldn't be a problem, but the way the book is set up, it's almost like that is sort of the main force driving the plot forward, finding out where the bank robber who accidentally ends up holding people hostage, who, who that person is and where that person sort of has disappeared to. And... I didn't actually think that was the sort of most interesting question. So if this had sort of been structured a bit differently, I think I would have liked it more. Um, some of the conversations in here are great. Some of the characters in here are interesting, but I could have done with a bit of a sort of jokey filler. Um, nevertheless, this fulfills the prompt to read a book by your favorite author. And I'm a bit disappointed that this has taken me so long to read, but I finished it. It's Sunday morning now. We finished, um, or we managed to do quite a lot of things in the flat yesterday, <coughs> excuse me, we mounted the books, I put all the books in there, I'm not completely pleased with how that looks yet, but I'm um, getting there, it's had made such a big difference to the flat already, we were able to empty loads of boxes, put some of them into the cellar, so today we're actually not going to be doing that much in the flat, we're going to uh, head out with the dogs, have some lunch probably with my boyfriend's grandma, and then we're meeting... Uh, two friends of ours for a sort of advent little like afternoon evening together we can't take the dogs because they have cats I like cats but I'm always disappointed when that means I can't take dogs with me um so that should be a really nice uh day but I currently don't have a book on the go so I will have to decide what I dip into and I still have a selection left from my TBR um you know that I've been avoiding starting reading The Passage by Justin Cronin because that is my book over 500 pages and I think that comes in at like over 600. But I should probably start it, otherwise I'm not going to finish it. Um, yeah, I'll have, another, I'll have another think about that, guys. Um, but until then, I will just leave you in the anticipation and talk to you soon. Monday morning and I'm about to leave the house for some last minute Christmas things um, but I wanted to tell you that yesterday evening I started reading Piranesi by Susan Susanna Clark um, which is I think um, I picked for like a standalone novel I read like the first 40 or 50 pages and I'm thoroughly confused don't really know what's going on the first 20 30 pages I didn't actually enjoy that I just thought it was a bit uh, strange but not there wasn't much carrying it forward but slowly <laughs> I'm developing theories on what's going on and now there's some traction also it's not very long actually that's why I picked it up yesterday because I want the satisfaction of finishing a book I think I might have this on my Scribd app which would be excellent because I don't actually want to be carrying a book around with me all day 
So I'm gonna check, hopefully continue reading this sort of in little gaps during the day. Um, intriguing, strange one. I've heard loads of people love this, also people who I who I respect <laughs> and whose opinions on books quite often match mine. So I'm curious what's still to come in this. They're just like ramen noodles. Yeah, yeah, like the cheap, like 90 cents. Good morning. I didn't end up finishing Piranesi yesterday evening. I kept on falling asleep whilst trying to read the last few pages. I went to the Christmas market and then I was pretty tired in the evening. But this morning I've just finished Susanna Clarke's Piranesi and even though the idea behind it is quite masterful and sort of the conversations about science and magic and um, creating characters in this book only through the eyes of our one main character and sort of the style of like journal entries, like all of that is really quite impressive. And still it's leaving me somewhat underwhelmed. I think it's lacking a sort of emotional component story sort of between people. I think that's just what I find the most interesting sort of relationships and dynamics between people and I guess this is like the whole point like being lonely and what happens uh, if you are sort of secluded from others but yeah that's just that still results even though I understand why she does it AI results in the story lacking something that I enjoy reading about the most um, it's a quick read I would recommend pushing on sort of after the first 30 pages because I was just confused and not loving it but then you understand what's going on if you sort of get over that first little bump in the road. Um, so that's wrapping up my third, third week. Um, Piranesi was my pick for the prompt to read. What was it? A standalone, I think. Ooh, I'm unprepared. I'm searching. Oh yes, a standalone, which was the Rudolph, Rudolph prompt in the Reindeer Readathon. Um, I'm gonna wrap this up here. I have three more books left on my TBR: um, Who Fears Death, The Glass Hotel, and The Passage. Um, and that's a lot of pages to still finish in the last ten days of the year. Wish me luck. <laughs>